were talking a little bit before around the the subject of the show or what it tackles. And I have a question for both of you that is around why is it important for us as Indigenous artists to tackle these huge subject matters? Well, I, I think that we're holding up a mirror to our own society. We're, we're trying to solve, sometimes we're trying to solve the, the problems and the situations that we find ourselves in, that we're trying to find a way to work through what is it that we can do, how is it that we can move our communities, how can we excite them and entertain them and give them hope, how can we work together um, to to play a role in our in our communities that's uh, that is the traditional uh, place of the storyteller of the um, of the artist in in that society to to hold up a mirror to to the the community and and offer some ideas about um, what we see and uh, what we would rather see and how can we change things or how can we enjoy things um, it's 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 the role of the artist I think and. I believe that. The work that I do and the story that I told with Moon Lodge was very much a physical embracing, a physical embracing of myself and my whole self, my, you know, my, my voice, my physicality in the world, my breath, my emotion, my feeling, my, my intellect, like what do I think about all the world around me? And, and to fully embody that is a, is a healthy thing. Mm. And I, so I also am, uh, have always embraced uh, real physical, physical theatrical work um, because it makes me feel good. And I feel uh, that, that a lot of the workshops and, and things that I've done in community through my, through my, um, through my years is, has been to engage with the community so that they too can feel good. So they can be part of a, my theatrical workshop and actually um, physically engage and express themselves. The expression and the sharing of that voice that we have and the stories that we have will bring healing and energy and will energize us. Uh, that's what I believe. There are so many of us that are seeking that knowledge. As artists, we know we're fed by our stories, our, our collective stories. Um, the need, the urgency to find where we come from, um, you know, as much as we can possibly know, you know, even if it's only a tiny seed, we know that it, we belong somewhere. And I think that's, that's why this story is so important is because um, Agnes is able to, to map that out for herself in a, in a, in a way that's um, quite profound. I feel like that all the time. And I think, <laughs> and I, in, in terms of the searching, is that so many of us, there is that disconnect. And this, what, what you've managed to do with the show is put that into story, that searching, that searching for who you are and how you fit into the world around you, or not fit in, uh, is so much a part of what a lot of people go through and what a lot of young people go through, that searching. And so I feel like in many ways, it's exciting to imagine a whole other generation of young people have the opportunity to kind of experience this journey through Agnes that is reflective of what they're facing, is reflective of their own, their own journey of wherever they come from, even though it's all different, right? Everyone who, who is so diverse in Vancouver, but everyone can see themselves in her because everyone's on that same thing, trying to find who you are and how you fit into it. I think that maybe it's a chance for non-native theater goers and native theater goers to share the same space for a time. Because I think that's really important too. Mm. I, think, I think the work of, of finding out who you are and is, is, a, is, a, is a universal journey. The specificity of it being a native person dealing with, you know, all the stereotypes they see in 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 in, uh, in the main, you know, in the on the TV and the radio and all, and the history of that kind of stere stereotyping of of race for Native people is is pretty. Um, we're used to it. We know it. We laugh at it. We have our thoughts about it. 
but it, but probably the actual search and the actual um, realization that Agnes is carrying all this memory and pieces of memory that come together and, and sort of fit together eventually. Like I don't think that I thought that I was writing anything you know, amazing. It was pretty straight ahead as far as I could tell. I thought, well, you know, it's not, it's a journey, but what made it kind of special for me was that they were my memories and they were the memories of generations of people that I knew. And they were memories that all fit together in a way that, that, that were very precious in the end. Despite the, 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 the good, the bad, and the ugly, they were, they were, there is some special, um, there is a, sp a special meaning in your memories of who you are and where you come from. And to then take those, that story of yourself or that story of your people and lift it up and say, let's, ha let's love this, let's enjoy this, let's share this. We don't have to have all the answers. We, we don't have to have, know all those things we'd love to know. But we, what we do have, we treasure, and we, we make meaning with mm. that. And that meaning has meaning for others as well. And so we share the meaning and the understanding we have come to, or the question marks that we still have, that we're human, that we, it's not a straight ahead you know, pathway it, to understanding ourselves and the world. And a certain amount of acceptance and, and that, that this is who we are and we'll discover more, you know. So for us coming together with that kind of um, knowledge, you know, um, that kind of understanding that we gain in an audience with the people around us, I mean, that's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, an incredible experience when you're sitting in an audience and you're moved together and you laugh together and you're relieved mm. that Agnes finds some place to land. Mm. And we're startled by what she remembers, and we're 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 shocked, and we're you know, we're kind of embarrassed about things that she's embarrassed about. I mean, all those human things coming together in an audience. I think that's what's really marvelous. It's also marvelous that our young people and that our other native community that never got to see the show would get to see it and laugh together, and cry together, and and hold each other close like they did in the Moon Lodge for Agnes. <laughs>